Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix the first descendant direct X uh, 12 is not supported on your system on an PC, right? So first of all, you need to make sure that your operating system and your GPU drivers is fully updated. So go to settings, then go to Windows update, then check for updates. And if there is an update for you that you need to download and install it, please do so and restart your computer. Same thing with your GPU drivers, go to if using NVIDIA, there is app called GeForce Experience. You can go to drivers, check for updates, and if there is an update, also download it, install it, and restart your computer. Um, also, you can go to uh, Device Manager and then look for uh, Display Adapters and with the GeForce's Experience, uh, update driver, and search automatically, right? And then look if the problem persists or not. If the problem persists, open a browser. Uh, write DX12 and then select uh, Microsoft.com and download DX12 to your computer, right? I know why it's blocked, but let's do this here. Then your uh, setup should appear on your computer. Just click on it and then just install it, right? Uh, just deselect this option and wait until uh, the process will be uh, finished. Right, and after that, look if the problem persists. Uh, but if you go and search and write DX Dig here, it should uh, here. We need to wait for a couple of seconds until it loads up. Um, it should look. Uh, it should show that you are running, uh, as you can see here, Direct uh, X version should be Direct uh, X12. If it's not working for you, then another thing that you can do here, you need to open up your a your disk C, then go to program file 686, go to Steam, then go to open up Steam EXE file, right click on it, show more properties, then select compatibility, make sure to run this program in Windows 8, and then disable full screen optimization and run this program in, in compatibility mode for uh, uh, Steam apply the changes and then go to the first descendant properties uh, installed files and verify integrity of the game files right and if it's not working the last thing that I suggest to do here is to force run DX12 on your computer and on your game so look for the first descendant uh, properties installed files uh, I mean general and then here you need to put this command dash force dash d3d12 and then look if the problem persists or not but it should fix your problem right so that's pretty much it